Hello everyone, my name is Free Darkness from FD Touch, and today I'm basically going to be showing you guys my render settings as well as my color correction settings for uh, gameplay. And I have been getting a really, this has been a really requested tutorial, and I'm finally guys, I'm finally going to show you guys uh, my settings and my CC. Uh, so let's just go to Sony Vegas, and I'm not going to be showing you my HD PVR settings because uh, most of you guys probably over on Wii don't have HD PVRs, uh, but I will be showing you how well the color correction looks on an HD PVR for PS3 on an HD PVR I mean uh, on an easy cap for PS3 as soon as this loads see a big difference this is a pretty cool clip that I got a really long time ago uh, five man clutch just from that spinning sign spinning and moving sign and uh, right here HD PVR quality for the Wii as well as just the color correction for an easy cap so this is all color correction let me show you guys how this color correction how this clip would look without color correction uh... a lot more dull as you can see as well as I, mean, I just want to show you guys basically how every single clip looks without the color correction and just how big of an improvement it really is and i'm showing you on preview half not the best quality so bear that in mind uh... this is i actually use two different uh... render settings I mean, uh, color corrections for uh, HD PVR on PS3, but on Wii, I just use the same color correction, which is uh, uh, I, I just named it FD Simple HD because it's actually just three simple uh, things that I added on. So as you can see, I'm just gonna let you copy this: brightness 0 0.07, contrast 0 0.16, sharpen. I usually have no sharpen because I use it with an HD PVR on Wii. Uh, but on PS3, I do recommend you, you put it up to about 0 0.175, as it makes it look really just a lot better in saturation. Uh, I'll just let you pause the screen right here. There's too much to read out, honestly. So, and as you can see, it just looks a lot, uh, pretty good. I mean, uh, another. I hope you just pause the screen and just remove this. And obviously, it looks. Uh, it just looks a lot more dull. And actually, let's go back to this. And I already showed you both settings, right? So, or actually, I don't think I showed you both settings. And this is basically the settings that I use for my HD PVR when I'm playing over on PS3. Now, I don't always use these settings, but sometimes it just looks a lot better because it has a lot more brightness and actually has some color corrector. Uh, I'm just going to let you copy the settings 0 0.12, 0 0.25, 0 0.50 for brightness and contrast. Color corrector. Uh, I pause the screen right now. It's, these are just. Uh, slight rotation to the angle and saturation and unlike the other one where I actually uh, move the saturation this one is just moving the color correction and the saturation on itself and I actually use color curves and it's just bent to whichever area you think looks best it's not bent that much though uh, so besides that clip over here it's using the same HD PVR uh, settings call HFD simple HD and uh, once you actually have your settings you can simply go to plug in chain and then you can save as and you can name it whatever you want and then anytime you click it it'll just be there so it's a little informative for you guys and yes this is the same color correction you see right here and of course if you remove it it, it becomes a lot more duller less life a lot less death uh, but that's pretty much it and actually guys I'm gonna show you uh, the main thing the main aspect of this is uh, settings if you change this to 8-bit it drops in quality it drops in depth but uh, yeah basically it is how you guys want your settings HD 720 or uh, just go to HD 720 60p um, if you're actually on PS3 or 360 where you want 60 frames per second but on Wii uh, you're gonna want to use this one uh, we can find it uh, can't find it right now, oh there we go yeah 720 30p uh, because it's, it's actually on Wii so you don't really need 60 FPS because it only records in 30 uh, but if you do want to record in 60 FPS you need an HD PDR or anything as good as quality no dazzle or easy cap and you can render it, it'll take about twice the time but it'll give you really really good results because it's just a lot smoother and that's basically it, 1280 by 720 no progressive scan 
one square basically auto output rotation zero uh, depending on your gameplay's frame rate just put that in nothing here of course and 30 tip 32 bit floating point full range linear best gaussian and blend fields everything else can basically stay the same unless you actually know what to do with audio and for the actual render settings which uh, are the main aspect of the rendering and the rendering time I'm just going to be showing you guys that okay so uh, it's it's an AVI file and as many of you may know AVI files are really really big a lot bigger than an MP4 or WMV and actually uses a compressor so it renders in about the same time as an MP4 or WMV would but with a lot better quality and you can see right there basic thing 29 FPS only because I've been rendering Wii gameplay but if you of course are rendering 360 or PS3 gameplay you're gonna want to change that to 60 but as the example shows right here it is Wii so you want it as 29.970 NTSC HD V 720 1280 by 720 you're gonna want pixel aspect ratio 1.0 field order none video format you're gonna have to download this uh, compressor I'll include the link in the description to it and once you actually have it, install it, it'll appear here and then you can just configure it and I'm going to let you guys copy the settings these are where we're going to make it just to render time a lot quicker and preserve its quality uh, so pause it right now actually I'm going to continue now so I hope you guys paused it if you actually did get it so interleave every seconds zero you could adjust that if you know what you're doing and that's pretty much it for audio you can leave that as you want but for a project you want to go to best so you know you're getting the best results and that's pretty much it it'll give you really good results whether you're on PS3 or 360 uh, I recommend you use the settings I showed you for uh, Modern Warfare 2 so you, if you're using an HD PVR and you're uh, recording PS3 or 360 gameplay uh, otherwise though if you're an easy cap or an HD PVR on Wii or an easy cap on anything period or dazzle I recommend you use the other settings I showed you and how to save Anyways, guys, this has been Frey Darkness. I hope you guys enjoyed, and feel free to leave a like, favorite it, if you will. I really appreciate it, guys. Later.